Hi, this is Jenny, and this is my podcast, Dreams to Reality. So, I'm a goal setting coach on the side and also an author. And、um, I have written two books that are nonfiction and several books in fiction. And so, one of my books, Dreams to Reality, where this podcast is based, is basically about the four keys to manifestation or to、uh, turning your dreams into reality. So, I'm in the process of being certified for it's called Magnetic Recode, and、um, people are not familiar with it. It's、um, basically developed by Dr. Flint,、uh, who's a psychotherapist, and Dr. Colette、uh, Stryker. So, hers is like the MAP method.、Um, I was part of that coaching group, like a couple maybe in 2020 during the pandemic, and I did. See some results on it, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I i wanted to be certified in it. And I was, I think last year, I was in the process of applying for it, but I waited for a while. And then lo and behold, I met one of Colette Stryker's students, and he set up the,、uh, he calls it Magnetic Recode. It's Basically, the same process but with a different approach. So, the thing is, if you are into self help, we are always taught that you know we have to fix ourselves, we're always broken, and we're always a work in progress. So, what really drew me to be certified or to go through the certification for Chris Duncan's、uh, Magnetic Recode is his premise that we are not broken, it's that. Structures that we have in place that is basically causing us to have issues in our life. So, when I mean structures, structures could mean、um, your beliefs, your self limiting beliefs, your personality, your experiences, and all of the other. So, one thing that I noticed、um, when I've been doing the self help route and you know, working on myself is that it really never ends because the、uh, concept is you know, we believe that we're always in a work in progress, that that's, there's something wrong with us that needs fixing. So that's why I was very, very interested in Chris Duncan's approach because he said there's nothing to fix. It's only the structures that are in place that need s to be changed. Basically,、um, he is using the、uh, superconscious recoding, using our superconscious mind to recode ourselves,、uh, our personalities, and not really our personalities, but to. Basically, change the resistance or the what the obstacles that's in the way. So, the premise is that we have three memories basically,、uh, and I can use other, other terms. We usually know it as id, ego, super ego, but in the magnetic recode, it is. Unconscious, self conscious, and the super conscious. It's also known in、um, other teachings as, you know, the subconscious mind, the conscious mind, and the higher consciousness or the higher self. So, being Buddhist, I, I already know about this one, but、um, what I didn't know is that. Because I, I tap into my higher consciousness to make、uh, decisions and to be in a higher state of mind so that I'm not really as affected as much、uh, with the negative things or what we perceive as negative things in our、um, daily life. So I try, I always meditate to reach that like higher state of mind. But what Um, Dr. Flint and Dr. Colette Stryker has discovered is you can actually actually teach your superconscious mind to align your conscious or self conscious mind and your unconscious mind or subconscious mind. And you can use it to program the other 
two memories. So basically, the premise is very simple, but very profound. Basically, we they believe, and also as a Buddhist, I believe that um, there's three levels of, they call it three levels of memories, there's three types of memories, we call it three levels of mind. So the uh, subconscious or the unconscious is the thing that is that um what you call that that is part of our life from the moment we are born and up to the present moment and we use the subconscious or the unconscious awareness or memory to run the automatic uh autom- automatic systems that we have in place which is our circulatory system it runs our you know the pumping of the heart and it runs our, our digestive system it runs all of the our bodily functions that's the subconscious like we are not aware that it's running there but it is running and the super uh, the subconscious or unconscious mind is the one that is running everything and and it is programmable and same with like driving and this is a very very common example which is initially it is conscious you know you're aware that you're learning, uh, especially those that used manual, uh, the brake, the clutch, and, you know, the manual, like, shift stick. If you guys have learned how to use the car using that one, that method, the manual method. So it's a lot of processes in place, a lot of techniques, and, like, just to run the car. So initially, it is conscious, but eventually, we, with repetition, you can actually... Um, sort of program your unconscious or subconscious mind to make it automated or to automate it. So basically right now, I just, sometimes I don't even know how I got back home. Like sometimes I'm just listening to music and I'm like, oh, I made it home already, you know? And long drives as well. We don't even know like it's 10 hours that have passed. So that's the unconscious mind that is running the show but the thing about the unconscious mind it is very impressionable and it's most impressionable when we are in our childhood like when you, we are young kids um, so basically if whatever programming is installed there that pretty much will run the show let's say um, I actually know of people so that uh, so their mother and father had an abusive relationship so the father would uh, physically and emotionally abuse the mother so all four kids had an abusive relationship at one point uh, and I think one eventually was able to overcome it but all literally the other three daughters have um, a very unhealthy relationship because you know their upbringing dictated that you know, it's normal to be emotionally abused by a man or your husband or your spouse or your partner. And so no matter what they did, whether they changed partners or not, it just, it's the same. They pick the same type of man that will just emotionally and verbally abuse them and at times uh, even physically abuse them. So you know, and a lot of that is um, upbringing and programmed into our childhood. Um, same as well with poverty mindset as well. So again, uh, poverty mindset as well. So you have like generations of people, you know, they belong to like, you know, the the lower class So grandfather was poor, so mom is poor, and the children are poor, the great-grandkids are poor. Sometimes that, too, is, like, learned. You know, you learn how to think that way, uh, that poverty mindset. And so even if you are aware that it is happening, sometimes it just, it's automated. It's, It's somehow it seems fixed until you recode it or change it and this is where the magnetic um, recode works so the magnetic recode um, 
has this premise that the super conscious mind is aware from the from birth until now and it is aware of all of the uh, things that are going on so it literally knows what has happened from day one and also the premise is uh, it also remembers seven generations before you and seven generations after you so this coincides with me as a Buddhist as well. We believe that karma or programs or beliefs are passed on from seven generations below and seven generations after me so or after us. So, so this is the same premise, which I'm really excited about because it really just, you know, it coincides with what I already believe, but... Um, with the premise that you can use your super conscious or you call it higher self, higher consciousness, you call it the super ego, you can actually program it or teach it to actually program the uh, conscious mind and the uh, unconscious mind or the self-conscious, un- self-conscious or conscious mind and the unconscious or subconscious mind. So here lies... Um, the key uh, so that they're all aligned three memories are aligned and also this process believes in other personalities as well you know and we have that you know we have our protector personality we have our motherly or fatherly personality we have our fun personality so we have different personalities deep within us and the premise of uh, this magnetic recode is that you can actually tell Through your superconscious mind, you can tell your other personalities to just cooperate, you know. And it is not being forceful. It is actually asking for permission. So that's why I'm very, very excited with this certification. And it's like a culmination of all of the things that I've been doing. And it's actually, um, I actually manifested it as well. um, Because I always, I was already thinking about being certified uh, last year and then, now I think this is the path that I've chosen because it just makes sense. I am sick and tired of thinking that I am broken and that I need to fix myself. I don't need to fix myself. I just need to focus on where I want to go, what I want to be. Um, and it boils down to aligning my superconscious mind, my unconscious, and my self-conscious mind. So hopefully this has been educational for you guys uh, who are not familiar with this. I do, I do this on the side. I'm a goal setting coach. I really love it. You know, aside from creating content on YouTube and traveling and writing books, I this is one of my passions. You know, that's the reason why I wrote the book Dreams to Reality. And you can pick it up. It's a very, very um, tiny, short book. You can read it in maybe like less than an hour. And it contains all the information you need to know. Uh, but with uh, the uh, this magnetic recode thing, uh, I will be doing group coaching eventually. Um, but I'm already doing this on the side. I've been working on uh, people already. So if you want to contact me, contact me at homeofgenie at gmail.com. I'll give you the link if you want to work with me. It's very limited slots right now because I don't want to work with just about anyone. I really want to work with people who are really sure that they want to get from point A to B. Um, so I don't want to dilly-dally. And yeah, it's only for serious people only. And um you know, because uh, it's just one of my passions. And eventually, uh, my goal is to do this maybe half of the time and half of the time to produce more content for my books, whether it be writing or my travel blog and everything that is. Um, it's just, I want to do this half of the time, you know. And But I still love my day job. I'm a healthcare worker and I love that job and I'm still not ready to let that go. So I'm just doing this a third of the time. And then the other third is, of course, work or maybe it takes up more than a third. And the other third is my books and all the content that I produce. 
But yeah, eventually in a year or two, I will transition to doing this coaching half of the time and I will be opening up more slots. Anyway, I also do energy healing. So if you have any anxieties, I can help with that. I am not... Uh, you know, doing this uh, as a medical profession, uh, professional, it's just for holistic approach. If you really, really need like stronger, uh, stronger methods, you can contact like a psychiatrist or psychologist. I do this holistically. Uh, I just release the anxiety for goal setting purposes only. And also a certified hypnotist as well. And, um, I can do this with your goals if I, f I feel that it is necessary to do it as well. So, but definitely I'll be doing more uh, group recording and stuff like that. I do a sound bath as well. I'm certified in sound bath healing um, right now. And I'm going to be taking more modalities as well. So anyway, if you are interested to learn more, I share more of it on my... It's basically at least five days in a week. I'm trying maybe to do it every day of the week, but I have a TikTok and a YouTube. So my YouTube is Genie Hermoso. I'll put a link below. And then my TikTok is Mystic Genie, G-N-I-E-88 at Gen um, Mystic Genie 88. Basically, that's it. I'll put the link, uh, all of the links uh, below on the show notes and if you're listening to this on youtube so everything's going to be provided for and yeah i hope i've been of service 